The Equinox is Chevrolet's second most popular vehicle, outsold only by the Silverado pickup, so the all-new third generation is a big deal for the Bowtie brand. It moved nearly a quarter million of the outgoing model in 2016, which was long in the tooth. The 2018 Equinox should do much better because it is much better. Drawn up in Chevy's breezy new design language, it's over four inches shorter now, but remains just as roomy inside. Also, Equinox is about 400 pounds lighter now. That's impressive in my case. That's more than the combined weight of my wife and two grown children. There's so much competition. Cherokee, Escape, Forester, Tiguan, and Tucson, to name a few, all have strengths and weaknesses. The Chevy's Achilles heel is price. It starts at $24,500. This top trim premier model is thirty-four dollars as tested, lacking a sunroof and all-wheel drive. Uh, now, to be fair, there are heated and vented seats, a toasty steering wheel, and surround view camera system. Haggle hard. Depending on your preferences in a crossover, the effort could be worth it. Where Equinox really shines is the driving dynamic. It's very quiet, comfortable, and polished, almost like a luxury car. If the roads to soccer or little league practice are rough, this suspension takes it in stride. It's respectable in the corners too, though if all you want is sporty, check out the Mazda CX-5 and Honda CR-V. Seats are a very personal thing. I find these extremely comfortable. Also, when the lane keep assist warning comes on, it doesn't beep. The seat vibrates, very discreet. For now, Equinox motors with a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine with 170 horsepower and 203 pound feet of torque. There will be two engine options, a four-cylinder turbo diesel expected to get as high as 40 miles per gallon on the highway, and a gas-powered two-liter turbocharged four-cylinder with 252 horsepower. It gets a nine-speed transmission. The 1.5 and diesel engines switch gears with a six-speed automatic. These controls are for the sound system, not paddle shifters. The optional all-wheel drive is unique in that it signals you when it thinks you should push the button to engage it. Others do it automatically. As for Scoot, this smooth engine is fine. This is not as fast as the Honda CRV equipped with a 1.5 liter turbo engine, but the Equinox will have that more powerful optional engine speed racer. For hauling garage sale finds, the standard four-cylinder is more efficient. The transmission aggressively grabs higher gears for better gas mileage. Equinox's fuel economy slots in between the Champ CRV and the lower scoring Sportage and RAV4. I'm not including hybrids here. This car is equipped with auto emergency braking, which is terrific technology, but it's part of a $1,900 package that's only available on the top premium trim. It's standard equipment on all Toyota RAV4s and most Honda CRVs. And Nissan just announced it will be standard on all 2018 Rogues. Friends and neighbors fawned over this Premier model's interior. It looks rich with stitched inserts. Uh, maybe the doors could use some spiff. Some of the plastic is hard, but it's substantial to the touch. Materials down below get more of a budget feel. There's storage, storage, storage. Enough room here to stash tablets or a large camera. Wireless charging, too, if your phone supports it. General Motors has quietly improved its user interface to become one of the more elegant choices in class with just the right amount of physical buttons and knobs. The system plays well with Android and Apple phones, too. I'm five foot nine. I am also five foot nine. This is a great back seat test. Sure is. This is a roomy space back here. The seats are high, so not only is thigh support good, it makes it easy for kids to see out of the windows. Legroom is generous too. There's nothing that can't be charged here, and the heated seats get better flexibility than some luxury brands. Thinking about the panoramic glass roof? Uh, check that it doesn't eat into headroom. The cargo champ in this class is the Honda CRV. Equinox lacks a kick to open tailgate and ski pass through. The back seat doesn't slide fore and aft anymore. The cushion articulates so the floor becomes very flat. There's a generous space under here where the optional security cover can be stashed away. Even without dipping into that room under the floor, Equinox matches the Honda at nine packs. The retail price is on the high side, but this Chevy packs more sophistication into its swoopy shape.
shape than many would expect. Equinox is not without its demerits, but it is as refined as a summer solstice day is long. It's definitely worth putting on the test drive list.